Check out FlipsideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. From March 1st through March 31st, 2020, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a WPN Mystery Booster box. Also, there's another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends. Welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. And this is kind of a somber edition for obvious reasons with everything that's been going on. You're going to see as we go through the video today, obviously the real world is impacting prices on cards in the world of Magic the Gathering, which at this point doesn't feel all that important. But I thought about it, and I know this is something that a lot of people watch every Saturday or Sunday. And if I can do something to just carry on with some normalcy and give you something to take your mind off what's going on out there, at least for a little while, that's what I want to do today. So um, we're going to go through the cards like we always do, and hopefully we can think about some other things for a little bit. And without any further ado, let's get into it. We'll begin as we always do with Standard, and here's your top eight Standard Legal cards that have lost value this week. As you can imagine, without major tournaments going on, there's not a lot of interest in standard cards, and that's true for Modern and Pioneer as well. You'll see that throughout the video. Commander is really the format people are still engaged in. Not too surprising, because first off, it's a good format that a lot of people like, but also, too, it's something you can play at home. So that's going to be the reoccurring theme as we go through the video. You're going to see that in all areas of the secondary market. Also, I think there's a lot of uncertainty as to how long this is going to go on for, so obviously this is the format that's being impacted the most. Coming in at number 8 is Cavalier of Thorns. It goes down $1.54 to nine ten. In addition to all the reasons I mentioned, this card's not seeing a whole lot of play right now. It's seeing barely any standard play. It's still seeing a tad bit of Pioneer play in Mono Green Ramp. But overall, when you look at those two formats, the card is seeing nowhere near the amount of play it was seeing not too long ago. Number 7 is Idyllic Tutor, the original copy for Morning Tide. It goes down $1.60 to fourteen sixty seven. So, we know that this card has been losing value ever since the reprint at Rare and Theros Beyond Death. Nothing too surprising here. It continues to lose value, becoming pretty affordable more and more each week, it seems. This is sometimes in Pioneer Fires builds, but it's always been a very popular Commander card, and now a Brawl card, in decks that are enchantment heavy. Number 6 is Ember Cleave, down $1.66 to $17.95. Very good card right now in the standard format. You'll find this in Mono Red Aggro and more. It's in Pioneer Mono Red Aggro decks too. Even sees a little modern play, but remember, there's a copy of this in the 2020 Challenger deck Cavalcade Charge, which is going to bring additional copies to the environment. Number 5, Teferi Time Raveler. It goes down $1.82 to $20.08. Now, this card sees a ton of play, definitely, but you do have to take into consideration that there are some more copies out there because of the foil stained glass copies that went out with some of the secret layers. But this is seeing play in Just Guy Fires, Bant Midrange, and more. Pioneer, Azorius Control, and more there. Modern even, Bant Snowblade, Artifact Breach, and a lot of other decks there too. And it sees Legacy and Vintage play. This is one of those cards if you don't own a playset, once you get closer to rotation, you probably want to pick one up. Number 4 is Hallowed Fountain, the original from Dissension. It goes down 262 to 2427 this week. And it's always good to keep an eye on these original versions of Shocklands. They could be indicators of what the later printings will be doing soon. This Dissension copy has been very turbulent though. Remember, the Wild Bounty Brawl deck had additional copies of the Ravnica Legions version of this card in them, so a lot of copies of Hollow Fountain have gotten out there recently, but it's still a very popular card, obviously. You'll find this in Azorius Control, Jeskai Fires, Bat Midrange, and more. Pioneer Spirits builds, which are very popular, Azorius Control there too, and more decks in the format. And obviously, like all the Shocklands, it sees modern play too. Number 3, Brazen Borrower, down 285 to 1999, and there's a copy of this in the 2020 Challenger deck Flash of Ferocity, part of the reason it has softened up, but this card sees a ton of play too. Just Guy Fires, Teamer Adventures, Teamer Reclamation, and more. Pioneer, you'll find this in Spirit Builds and more there, and it sees Modern and Legacy play too. Number 2, it's finally happening, Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath losing some value, down 307 this week to 38.59. And when you look at this card, it's still seeing a lot of play again. Salty Midrange, Bant Midramp, Teamer Reclamation, and more. Pioneer Play 2 and Salty Delirium, Nib to Light. Lots of modern play, but maybe a little less now that Once Upon a Time has been banned in the format, but it's in Bant Snowblade and much more there. Even sees Legacy play and Commander and Brawl play too. Number 1 is Breeding Pool. Down $325 to $32, and this is the original from Dissension. 
I think the main reason you're seeing this big of a loss is because of the Once Upon a Time banning not too long ago in Modern. But ultimately, again, you have a card that's going to see a ton of play. Team of Reclamation, Bant Mid-Ramp, more in Standard, Pioneer, it's in some big decks there like Bant Spirit, Salte Delirium, and more. And it's still going to see a lot of Modern play in that format, too. All right, that's your top 12 standard legal cards that have gained value this week. So I went pretty deep with these cards, really just to let you see what's happening with the market. I went all the way down to an increase of four cents, and that's just because there's not a lot of increases. So let's just take a quick look at some of these cards. Number 12 is Priced Unicorn. It goes up four cents to 187. This is the Corset 2020 copy. You can only find one copy of this in the green welcome deck. It wasn't in the regular draft packs. Not much else to say about this, though. Number 11, Twin Blade Paladin, up 4 cents to 312. Not a big increase here, but this card actually is relevant and has a story behind it. Now, you couldn't get this one in draft packs, of course, at 2020 either, but you could get three copies in the Ajani Inspiring Leader Planeswalker deck. The reason this card is popular right now is because there is an increase in people putting together life gain decks for both Brawl and Commander. A lot of that was inspired by some of the Theros Beyond Death cards like Daxos and Heliod, among others. Also, if you watched Commander Versus from Star City Games, they did show an Aloro deck this week that had this in it. That could have brought some more attention to the card, too. Number 10, Angelic Guardian from Corset 2020. It goes up 4 cents to 464. Another card that is seeing some Brawl and Commander play, and another card that could not be found in draft packs of Corset 2020. There was one copy in the 2020 Spellslinger starter kit, though. Number 9, Ilharg the Razebore. Another good Commander card here at 4 cents to 550. Seeing more Brawl and Commander play recently in Commander without Leplani Nest Tender in Brawl with Perforos Bronze Blooded. Number 8 is Storm Herald, up 6 cents to 41 cents. Similar story here, this is seeing some Commander and Brawl play with other new Theros enchantment cards and cards that care about enchantments. Number 7, Rowan Fearless Spark Mage, goes up 6 cents to $1.45. This is the non foil copy that you would find in Collector Boosters, not the foil that you find in the Planeswalker deck, but this is one of the Planeswalker deck Planeswalkers. Number six is Under Realm Lich. This goes up eight cents to two fifty-two. Another popular Commander and Brawl card. Many times in Maldrotha, the Grave Tide builds in Commander, but also in many others too. Number five, Arcane Signet. You can find one of these in each of the Brawl decks, but it's a very popular Brawl and Commander card, especially Commander players that could have a lot of different decks and they don't want to necessarily move the card from deck to deck every time they play. They want multiple copies. It goes up nine cents this week to six sixty. Number four is another huge Commander and Brawl card. It's the Magic 2011 copy of Leyline of Anticipation. It goes up 10 cents to 719. Number three, Bolasa Citadel, up 11 cents to 299. Kind of a fan favorite card here. It does see a little Pioneer play, sometimes in Mono Black Devotion. Also sees Vintage play. It's a huge Commander and Brawl card, though. In Commander, many times you'll find this in Carrick Son of Yawgmoth builds. Number two, Chromatic Lantern. This is the one from Commander 2016. It goes up 16 cents to 796. This does see a tad bit of modern play, sometimes in Inverter's Grace sideboards, but as you know, this is a huge Brawl and Commander card. Number one is Divine Visitation, going up 16 cents to 11.39. And this is a good Brawl card, and also sees Commander play in things like Reese the Redeemed, which of course did just get a reprint in Mystery Boosters. Let's move on to Pioneer, in your top six Pioneer legal cards that have lost value this week. So what you're seeing in this format is a lot of the more expensive cards are beginning to lose value as less people have the opportunity to play the format right now. So a lot of them still see play. You're going to see that as we go through. In some cases, a lot of play, actually. But the prices are stabilizing down regardless. Also, just one other note as we move forward in the video, when it comes to Mystery Booster reprints, we're not talking about those quite yet because they're still adjusting and finding their price points. They're sort of all over the place. Within another week or two, I will start to incorporate them into the market watch. Number six, though, is Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. It goes down $1.85 to $30.16. Again, an expensive card, losing value. This is in Azorius Control and more. And in Modern, sometimes you'll find this in Bant Snowblade and other decks there. Number five, Gideon, Ally of Zendikar. Maybe not as expensive, but still a pricey card, and it has spiked recently, so maybe it was due for a little bit of retraction. It goes down $1.87 to $14.14. You're going to find this one in a lot of big decks right now. Mono White Devotion, Azorius Control. It sees Modern and Legacy play too. And it has seen increased Commander play recently with Sir Gwen, Hero of Ashvale. Number four, Kalidas, Trader of Get. Goes down $1.90 to $31.29. Another card that has seen a lot of play, but it has also spiked a lot recently. You'll find this in Salti Delirium, sometimes in Demir Inverter Sideboards too. It's also in Mono Black Aggro, Mono Black Vampires. Sees Modern play as well. Nykthos Shrine to Nyx comes in at number 3, down 266 to 29.85. Another card that has been gaining a lot of value recently, 
and continues to see a lot of play too. Mono White Devotion, Mono Green Walkers, Mono Black Vampires, and more. Sees a little modern play too, and it's a huge commander card. Number two, Cyclonic Rift, the one from Commander 2014, which has been spiking pretty aggressively recently. It goes down 271 to 2519. This does see a little bit of modern play, but obviously this is one of the biggest commander cards out there. Number one, one of the more expensive cards in the format, Ugin the Spirit Dragon, goes down 431 to $60.73. Now, part of this is because some of the decks that it's in in the Pioneer format are not seeing as much play as they were seeing. Mono Green Ramp, Lotus Breach, but they're still out there, still seeing play. Modern, of course, this is in Tron. Legacy Post Builds will play this, and it's a big commander card. Okay, onto your top eight Pioneer legal cards that have gained value this week. Coming in at number eight is Flame Shadow Conjuring. It goes up 24 cents to 2.99. Decent commander card. It has seen increased play recently with Ilharg the Raised Boar, Gear Red Conclave Exile and Perforos Bronze Blooded. Number seven is Fraying Sanity, up 27 cents to 350. This has seen a little bit of increased commander play with Ashiok Nightmare Muse out there now. Number six is Crested Sun Mare, up 27 cents to 586. Another card pushed by a lot of people playing those life gain decks in commander right now. And this was another card that was in that commander versus deck I mentioned earlier. Number five is Gal Rider Sliver. This goes up 33 cents to 650. Typically you'll find four copies of this in Legacy Slivers. Commander Slivers have become a little more popular again recently because of the reprinting of Sliver Overlord and Kaleidoscope Killers. Number four is Ether Rise from Commander 2013. Very popular Commander card. It goes up 37 cents to $1.11. I think though in this case, this particular copy is just drying up a little bit this week. Number three is Knight of the White Orchid. Shards of Alara goes up 46 cents to $7.99. Dual decks Knights vs. Dragons up 98 cents to $6.63. Now this card is seeing play in Mono White Devotion and more in the format. It's also seen increased commander play recently with Sir Gwen, Hero of Ashvale. And on top of that, this card was in that Commander Versus deck I mentioned a few moments ago, too. Number two, Ugin's Nexus, still hot after a week, up $1.14 to $2.98. As I mentioned last week, there was a deck created by Aspiring Spike that caught a lot of people's attention. It ran three copies of this in the main one in the sideboard, and it was a Jund Extra Turns deck for Pioneer. It went 5-0 on Magic the Gathering Online, then a lot of streamers started to pick up on it, too. So people are trying to build this deck. We'll have to kind of see, though, if it can put up a big result in the future. Number one is Grizzly Salvage. Now, this goes up 305 to 340. This is from the Guilds of Ravnica Golgari Guild Kit. This particular copy dried up this week because it's a little harder to find than other copies. But this is also an indication, though, of what's going on in the format. It's in Salti Delirium, which is a very popular deck. In Modern, you'll find this in Salti Dredgevine. And Commander players may want this for Maldrotha the Gravetide builds and much more. All right, on to your top five modern legal cards that have lost value this week. Number five is Crater Hoof Behemoth, down 361 to 4457. This is the one from Modern Masters 2017. This card has been extremely hot recently, so you are seeing some big retraction this week. It does see a little modern play. It does see play in Legacy Elves, but I think the main reason the card has been hot is because of Commander again. This does see play many times in Reese the Redeemed builds, and of course, like I mentioned, that was reprinted recently in Mystery Boosters. Also, Nyx Blue Mansion has pushed this card a little bit recently, too. Number four, Sliver Legion, goes down 427 to 8406. Similar story here. This card has been popular in Commander for a long time because of Sliver decks. Recently, it's been going up in value because of the reprinting of Sliver Overlord and Kaleidoscope Killers, but now you see some big retraction. Number three is a card that has been soft recently anyway, the original Tarmogoy. If it goes down 448 to $70.02, very high price point here. You will find this in some big decks, though, like Jund, Infect, Death Shadow builds, and more. Legacy and Vintage players love this card, too. Number two is Misty Rainforest on 575 to 6578. This is the one from Zendikar. Remember, all of these enemy fetches are going down right now, and they're going to continue to go down, not just because of the reasons we already mentioned in the video, but also because there are more copies coming. Now, remember, these are coming in Secret Layer Ultimate Edition, which is going to be extremely limited. However, after that, there's going to be a way to get them if you buy the complete secret layer bundle that they're going to offer in June. Then you'll get one of these at random, so there's more copies getting out there. And then finally, they said later in 2020, there's going to be a non-standard product that's going to include fetches, and it's going to go to game stores, so it's probably going to be a different supplemental product of some kind. With that being said, though, this is still a huge card for mana bases. You'll find this in Banned Snowblade and much more in the format, and obviously it sees Legacy and Vintage Play too. Number one, Jace the Mind Sculptor, down 770 to 9458. This is the original one from Worldwake. Continues to lose value. This has actually lost a whole lot of value recently. 
And I've said in other videos, I think partially that's because of the shifting and attitudes when it comes to modern players, maybe some of them moving over to Pioneer. How much am I willing to spend on a card that I'm going to play in modern, which is a format that is not quite as popular as it was a few months ago. You're going to find this, though, in some good decks like Ban Snowblade, Azorius Control, sometimes Demir Wurza and more. Sees Legacy play, too. All right, on to the top five modern legal cards that have gained value this week. Number five is Angel's Grace, up $1.19 to $13.49. This card's been pretty hot recently. It's in the Inverter's Grace deck in Modern. Also in the Ad Nauseam deck with Thassa's Oracle, which is pretty popular. In Commander, it's seeing increased play because of Thassa's Oracle and Underworld Breach there. And many times you'll find this in the very popular Sushi Hulk builds in Competitive Commander, but it is a card that's very good against that strategy, so you'll find it in other places too. Number four, speaking of Sushi Hulk, here's the Hulk from Sushi Hulk, and that's Protean Hulk. How many times did I just say Hulk there? Masters 25 goes up $1.18 to $6.95. Ravnica Allegiance Grill Guild Kit copy goes up $1.33 to $6.95. Number three, Stoneforge Mystic goes up $1.35 to $37.98 as this continues to try to find its price point. You'll find this in the very popular Bant Snowblade builds. Also shows up in some other modern decks that are running Stoneforge packages. Sees Legacy play as well. And a fair amount of Commander play too. Number two, Pact of Negation from Future Sight up $1.39 to $22.40. You'll find this in Amulet Titan, Neo Brand, Ad Nauseam, Inverter's Grace, and more. It's also a huge commander card for competitive play, which does include Sushi Hulk again. Number one, Ulamog the Infinite Gyre. Ultimate Masters up $1.52 to $31.18. Modern Masters 2015 up $1.77 to $29.92. Very popular commander card right now as big mana decks are seeing increased play because of Nick's Bloom Ancient. All right, on to our Vintage Spotlight. This is where we talk about cards that are good in Legacy, Vintage, 93, 94, or cards that are just popular among collectors. Before we go into the cards going up in value, though, I had to point this out. Mana Crypt, the original media promo from the book giveaway, down 1614 to 250 46. Eternal Masters, down 1838 to 199.95. So obviously, this is the impact the Mystery Booster reprint is having on this card. And there's a lot of cards going down in value because of Mystery Booster reprints. We couldn't possibly cover them all today. But this was the big one I wanted to show you. Okay, onto the cards going up in value with Plateau from Revised on the reserve list. It goes up $1.42 to $126.67 this week. Badlands from Revised, also on the reserve list, goes up $254 to $208.99. Thought Lash, also on the reserve list, up $366 to $1567. This is seeing Legacy Play and Oracle Thought Lash combo decks. And it's seen increased commander play with Asa's Oracle in that format. Another reserve list card, another revised dual land, Volcanic Island. It goes up $13.92 to $4.41.60. And now we see a few of the unlimited cards starting to gain a little life again. They've been quiet for a bit. Interestingly enough, this one and the next one were both reprinted in Mystery Boosters. Mahamodi Jin goes up $17.90 this week to $92.10. And Birds of Paradise goes up $30.49 to $234.48. And finally, for this section, Taiga from Unlimited goes up $36.94 to $381.39 this week. Of course, this is on the reserve list. All right, as if the whole video hasn't been a Commander Spotlight, time for the Commander Spotlight, so here's some more Commander cards. First, though, I did want to feature one going down in value because of a Mystery Booster reprint. Salvala Heart of the Wilds going down $10.62 this week to $46.60. And onto the cards going up in value, Eldrazi Conscription from Ultimate Masters. It goes up $1.02 to $10 now. Good commander cards, seeing more play recently with Citizen Champion and some of the other Theros Band death cards that care about enchantments in the format. Dream Halls on the reserve list. It goes up $1.03 to $14.12. This card's been hot for a few weeks. It's drying up in the marketplace a little bit. It sees some commander play many times in Maldrotha the Gravetide builds, but it was also featured a couple weeks ago in an EDH REC article showing 10 affordable reserve list cards that are good in commander that brought a lot of attention to it. Next is Kozilek Butcher of Truth from Rise of the Eldrazi. It goes up $1.16 to $35.74, seeing increased commander play again with Nyx Bloom Ancient. Forbidden Orchard, the one from Commander 2016, goes up $1.21 to $15.99. Really big commander card. This is found in Sushi Hulk. Again, a very popular build a lot of people are trying to put together right now. And it's also in Vintage Oath of Druids builds. Next is Hall of Gemstones on the reserve list. It goes up $1.59 to $10.32. This is also seeing increased play in Commander with Nyx Bloom Ancient pushing Mount of Green Ramp a little bit, but this was also featured in that EDHREC article I mentioned a moment ago. Next is Land Tax, but this is the one from Battle Royale, which is a little bit harder to find. It goes up $1.80 to $23.91. This is a huge Commander staple for white, obviously, and it is seeing more play right now because of a lot of folks trying to build those Mount of White life gain decks. 
Kalia of the Vast. Commander goes up $1.57 to $30.49. Commander Anthology, which is only in foil, it goes up $3.41 to $34.99. This is a great Commander card. Many times he's played with the Ur-Dragon, which was reprinted in Kaleidoscope Killers not too long ago. Steel Enchantment. This has never been reprinted, and I'm sure it's seeing increased play with the Theros cards out there now. It goes up $4.28 to $4.99. I have to say, though, this either dried up naturally and there weren't a lot of copies out there in the marketplace, or it was a targeted buyout. This is a pretty big percentage jump. Wheel of Fortune on the reserve list, although it did get reprinted one more time as a judge promo and foil before they closed that loophole on the reserve list. Revised goes up $512 to $104.78 this week, unlimited up $1250 to $300. This is a little bit of a bounce back after the card was losing some value. Now, this does see a lot of commander play. And it does combo with Underworld Breach, Lion's Eye Diamond, and Thassa's Oracle to perhaps steal a win. And finally for this section, Test of Endurance, up $17.72 to $27.99. Obviously, like I've been saying, these life gain decks are very popular, so this card just jumps up. Never been reprinted, so it is getting harder and harder to find in good condition. I think for the most part, this dried out naturally. There could have been a little bit of a targeted buyout recently at the end. All right, on to the Pauper Spotlight. We have Pyroblast from Eternal Masters. It goes up 12 cents to 3.85. Very popular sideboard card in the format. Also sees Legacy and Vintage play too, and lots of Commander play as well. And next we have the Black Lotus of Popper, Oubliat. It goes up $1.94 to 28.50. This is the A variation of the card, which has the more difficult to read casting cost, as you see in the picture there. You'll find this in Mono Black Control in the format. And that brings us to the premium spotlight. So as I say every week, I don't like to spend too much time on rare promos or foils because many times you just get bad market data if there's not a lot of copies out there actually selling. Sometimes that data can be manipulated. But I like to pick one or two cards each week that feel like they're moving naturally with the market. This week I did choose two. The foil copy of Ugin's Nexus goes up 746 to 1744. And Test of Endurance, the foil copy goes up 792 to 2606. So this is one of those weird phenomenons where the price point for the foil is pretty similar to the regular version. And I think what you're going to see is the foil will start to dry up next and it will probably jump up really soon. All right, that does it for the Market Watch. I hope you had a good time today, at least for a little bit, taking your mind off things with me. Until next time, stay safe out there. Take care of each other. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.